Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Ms. Kauka standing right in front of you and today we are looking at the sentence structures. However, before we look at that, we will look at the basics such as clauses and conjunctions. If you are confused as to what I'm talking about, this is the video for you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button so that you don't miss out on any other videos and you don't miss out on part two of this one. Okay. Let's get into the video. <laughs> so today we are looking at sentence structures. And in these, we need to look at the basics before we can actually tackle the big stuff. So we have simple sentences, compound sentences and complex sentences. Now, in compound sentences and complex sentences, you will find conjunctions and clauses. So let's toss that aside and look at clauses and conjunctions before we look at the big stuff okay so that is what we are doing today i told you i got you <laughs> okay so what is a clause a clause are a group of words that contain a subject and a verb there are two types of clauses you have the main clause and the subordinate clause now i'm sure you're wondering what are these two things the main clause, also known as the independent clause. It can stand by it on its own and it can make complete sense. It is the main idea of the sentence. For example, I don't like sushi. Ne? So this clause can stand on its own and it can make complete sense. I don't like sushi. Okay. So the I is the subject and the like is the verb you see that <laughs> number two the subordinate clause it is known as the dependent clause because it is depending on something for it to make sense it also contains a verb but it cannot stand on its own for example because it tastes terrible now i'm sure you are wondering in this clause what is the thing that tastes terrible? That's why it is a dependent clause, because by itself, it makes no sense. Now, let's look at conjunctions. What are conjunctions? Conjunctions, you will have known them as the joining words, the linking words, words such as Okay, they are words that join clauses, phrases, and sentences together. In conjunctions, you will find so, but, therefore, hence, all that jazz. Ne? But we have two types of conjunctions. Okay, so these types of conjunctions are the coordinating conjunctions and the subordinating conjunctions. The coordinating conjunctions are conjunctions that are used to join independent clauses together. Okay, so these vary from and, nor, for, so, or, yet, and, but. And these are the only ones in the coordinating clauses. For example, I like tea and she likes coffee. Both these clauses are independent because if I say I like tea, this main clause makes complete sense by itself. This one as well, she likes coffee. It makes complete sense by itself as well. But we are using and as the conjunction to link the two main clauses together so that they can make a complete sentence. Subordinating conjunctions. These conjunctions are used to link the dependent clause to the main clause. So these vary from unless, after, because, while, if, whether, and the list is endless. For example, I don't like sushi because it tastes terrible. You see what I did there? I used the main clause we had in the beginning and the subordinating clause we had at the beginning. If you figured that out, tap yourself on the shoulder because you are smart. <laughs> that sums up our types of sentences, the basics you will find in them. Stay tuned to find 
what simple compound and complex sentences are. If you want to be smarter than the rest in class, subscribe today so that you don't miss out on any more English content. And you will be an English boffin.